Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be on things you should think about before buying a luxury bag. And this doesn't only apply to if it's your first luxury bag, this can also be applied to any luxury bag because they're such a big purchase and you don't really want to get it wrong. So I hope you enjoy it and let's start. So the first thing you want to think about is the practicality of the bag you're looking at. Now I know that sounds really simple and you'll probably think, I've already thought of that, it's going to work perfectly. So the the first bag that I purchased was the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 and I still use that now, I still have it, I still find it pretty practical, although it wasn't as practical as what it could have been for me. So really you want to ask yourself what are you going to be using the bag for? Is it going to be for work or for the weekends as kind of like a nice bag to take out to places? Because that will really change what you need the bag for and what style of bag you need. So for example for work you're probably going to need a much bigger bag so you can put your computer in and like all your work stuff whereas on the weekend you're not going to need to take any of that so you could have a much smaller bag so definitely think about the kind of practicality of the bag and if it's going to suit your lifestyle and what you're going to be using it for so one of the things that i really regretted about my first bag was that i got the speedy but it was without the long strap so i couldn't wear it cross body so i could only hold it by its handles which made it a little bit impractical it's okay now because i can use it in situations where I only need to carry it and I don't need to wear it crossbody or for long periods of time but if I was going to buy my first bag again I would probably pick one with a little bit of a different handle or different ways you could wear it with a strap which then brings me on my next tip which is to think about how you're going to wear it again this sounds really obvious but it's totally true so think about the bag and how you're going to wear it how comfortable it's going to be if you've only got the speedy with the handles like this one you're not going to be able to wear it any other way than just by carrying it like this so it's good to look at other options maybe cross body bags or ones with a shoulder strap think about how you style your bags already do you normally wear them over your shoulder or cross your body or just hold them and that will really help you make sure you get a very practical bag that you can use as often as you need to. The next thing to think about is the colours and the fabric or material the bag is made from. So it's best to go for a neutral coloured bag for your first bag and I know that sounds really boring sometimes if you want a bit of colour in your wardrobe but when you're buying your first bag it's going to be the one which you want to use the most often with the most outfits and everything like that. So if you go for a neutral one you'll be able to work that into your wardrobe so much easier than one that was a bright colour because you don't want to limit how often you can wear your bag. I would also suggest picking kind of like a normal fabric so maybe a leather or a faux leather or kind of like a a durable fabric maybe a velvet bag if you can work that into your wardrobe well but something like this so this bag is like a shearling material and it's not the most practical for different types of weather like today it's awful it's raining outside I couldn't take this bag um, and also it's kind of hard to style with different outfits so you're better off getting like a leather one or again kind of a bit more of a, a flat fabric nothing too fun and crazy like this one another thing to think about is if you're wanting an investment bag so if you're wanting a bag which is going to hold its value or near enough to you want to be looking at less trendy bags and trendy styles that are super kind of in trend and in fashion at the moment and go for more of a classic style obviously again if you have a unique style and you know a certain type of bag is going to fit for you perfectly then that's absolutely fine but if it is your first bag again it's good to go for kind of like a classic style and then if anything happens and you need the money you can sell that bag and get near enough what you paid for it sometimes even more which can be a very good investment but yeah I would suggest picking a classic style for your first bag and then you can always add these kind of fun and trendy bags into your collection afterwards. So what I mean by a classic bag, I'm talking about the Louis Vuitton uh, Speedy, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, the Chanel Classic Flap, the Chanel Boy is also a classic now as well and I think the Chanel 19 is or is going to be a classic so that would be a good one to get but I would probably if you're going to go for Chanel stick with the classic flap if you can. That being said if you are interested in a Chanel bag but you just can't 
seem to even comprehend spending so much money on the classic flap you can look at getting the wallet on chains and they're actually really good and I feel like they're very overlooked and people always go straight for the classic flap but maybe if you just feel like you can't save up that much money or you don't want to spend that much money then definitely look at them so this is my wallet on chain and I really like it and I find it really practical now I am only four foot eleven so I'm pretty short so this works really well as a kind of regular looking bag for me but what's great about this is you can fit a lot of stuff in it and it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying a big classic flap and they also have a little bit of a unique kind of style to them like this one I've actually folded my chains inside just to make it shorter for me but you can fit quite a lot of stuff in here I've done a whole detailed um, handbag review which I'll leave a link to in the description box if you want to see this more in closer detail but how these wallet on chains work is basically you don't need a purse you can just put all your cards inside the bag and you've also got a little bit of room to put other things in a zip compartment as well so if you don't need to take too much stuff if this is going to be your weekend bag these could be a really good option um, again they probably don't hold their value as much as a classic flap would though but I have seen these going on vestiaire and fashion file for near enough kind of what I paid for mine so Louis Vuitton also do wallet on chains too and this one is one of my favorites because it's so practical again I've put the chains inside just to make it short but with this one you actually get a separate kind of card holder so you can put all your cards in here and some cash and you've also got another pouch which you can put you know whatever you like in this one as well and you'd be surprised how much you can actually fit inside of these wallets on chains they're really practical I'm not sure how much this one cost because I got mine a few years ago but again I'll link it down below I'm sure it'd be a lot more affordable than the Chanel one though but these are definitely great starter bags if you're looking for your first bag but you don't want to splash out too much money so that is it I I really hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a little bit of kind of guidance if you're buying your first luxury bag. I'll leave links to everything in the description box that I've been talking about along with a little bit more information, a bit more detail on the bags that hold their value and everything like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did for more content like this and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.